there aren't many resources available online in regards to swapping out this engine so i uh, hope this video helps if you have questions comments or concerns just leave me a comment i'll be glad to help i have a toro time master uh with the briggs and stratton engine 223 cc uh, it's got 10 foot pounds of torque i'm going to be swapping it out for this Kohler command pro cv224 it's got 11 foot pounds of torque why um number one because i can number two uh, this engine just flat out sucks. Um, I know this is an upgrade to the old engine, but in my personal opinion, this is still underpowered. You have two blades under there. The thing is bogging down. Uh, I've done a lot of research on this, and I've seen when they put this Command Pro on, um, there's just not that level. Of, even with tall, wet grass, it just doesn't have that level of bogging down. Another thing with this is engine keeps surging, and I know you can adjust the car, but I don't feel like it. I just want to have something with, you know, more longevity, uh, something that I don't really have to bother with. So that's why I'm doing it. So let's get started. First things first, of course, disconnect the spark plug. Uh, you don't want uh, the blades engaging while you're under there. Second thing, I have this thing jacked up with two jack stands. And I'm also on a, on a little bit, my driveway's on a bit of an angle. I have some wheel trucks behind this so that this doesn't move. This is pretty stable. It ain't going nowhere. So hindsight being 2020, you don't have to loosen this next bolt. You can, it might help, but I kind of recall that tightening that bolt was a little bit difficult. So up to you. Okay, first things first, there's a half inch bolt with the back tire. Where is it? It's right here. You can see that half inch. Okay, um, I don't have two half inch uh, wrenches, so I'm going to use one of these to hold this outside one. And then there's one that's right here. Right there. So that one, I'm going to put this on and take it off. All right, I'm not going to take it off completely, but this right here, this metal piece right here, is preventing this transmission if I... So this is where we're at. I had to fashion this block. Um, I know the guy on the Turf Master video said a 2x4. Uh, this is about a 2x4 with another maybe quarter inch um, on the back of it. Um, so basically what this does is this piece right here, they were talking about moving the bolt. I didn't remove it all, all the way. I just kind of loosened it and then I could bend that back a little bit. And then what I did was I slid this, uh, two by four here. I didn't get the angles correctly in the turf master video. He does it perfectly. You have to squeeze the belt first. Then you shove the wood up there behind the transmission and you leverage it as you're squeezing the belt, you'll feel the tension loosen. Then you can um, kind of finagle the belt off, but it's still a little bit of a struggle. I'm not going to lie to you. So if it's a little bit difficult, don't worry. So there's two belts. There's a top belt and there's a bottom belt. Top belt is blade belt. Bottom belt's transmission belt. Top belt slides right off. It's right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see. See if we can zoom in there. That's the that's where the um, the bottom one is. We took that off already, but this one here has to come off. Okay, um, I took the engine off. Um, what it is you need is a half inch um, drive on an impact gun. You also need an extension. The video that had the Turf Master said something about that you need a right angle um, impact. I did not have that. Okay, top is off. Okay, we have the the transmission line, uh, belt right here. We have the blade engagement belt right here. I have a bunch of shit over here. Um, I really got to take this off right here and clean that out. Um, I've never done that before, but I will be doing that moving forward. Um, these are not tapped. You know, a lot of videos uh, say that uh, these holes uh, are not tapped. 
The holes don't have to be tapped, by the way. I don't know why you would have to tap them, but you don't. I just wanted to let everybody know how I got this off. Uh, these two, this one right here and this one right here is fairly easy with an impact. And I'll show you the length that I had to use. You can still see it. It's like right here. I don't know what this rigid brace is. I guess I'll have to use that. But these are the bolts. They said that they were thread cutters. Uh, don't know about all that, but I'm going to fucking reuse them, so whatever. But you can see that my impact came through. There's like a little hole there. Um, I couldn't get this piece through. What I had to do was uh, push this through this hole. You see that hole right there? Uh, I put my extension through that hole. And I was able to get to this. I have a better angle and an example later in the video, so don't worry. So, um, I had to thread this through first, and then put this on top, and then get to this. And then that brace was there. I don't know if I'm supposed to use that, but... I ended up not using that um, brace. I'll show you also right here. When you need to take off this um, kill switch line here. This one right here. 516. Um... This one is identical to this one, and it's it's down here. It's a 10 millimeter. You just loosen those. This comes down, and uh, another 5 16th right there. You pull that out, and that's that. Now All right, so this uh, pulley ring here comes off. Um, I used a 5 8 impact. Comes right off. All right, I didn't have to hold it or secure it, but you can see where it came off. Okay. Now it's on. Again, I slid it right on, 5 eighths, bolted it right up. Now we're at the point where I gotta tap these, uh, these holes in the bottom of this. Now, I bought these um, 3 eighths screws, uh, bolts. Uh, I think I'm gonna use these instead. They, they, I mean, they work. As you can see, they fit right in. Uh, only thing is that the the head is serrated, I guess, but whatever. I have this thing um, upside down, and what I did was you can see here, 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 and here, the places where there's these half moons um, or the or the D's instead of that circular thing there or this like B. So um, this one, this one, and this one. I just took uh, three fresh of these, um, they're 3 eighths, um, uh, 3 eighths, 16 and 1 inch um, thread cutter bolts. I got them off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Got the serrated um, top as well. Though those ones were not serrated, but I don't think it's going to matter. I basically just ran them in because this thing is not tapped. So, um, yeah. So I ran them in. Uh, now I'm just going to go from underneath. You see I'm coming through. And I'm just going to hand thread that for now. I'll, I'll finish it up later. But we'll hand bolt these for now. Because this thing is leaning forward on me. This thing was leaning forward. So I had to hold it with one hand. And then drive the bolts with the other hand. Alright so. This is what I was talking about. I have the impact here. As you can see. The impact's going through there. Okay. Um, you can see this little triangular structure here. Let's see if you can see from here. You can see right next... Okay, you see where the impact is? Uh, I really don't have a stand to put this light on, but that's where it is. And the hole... Let's see if I can get the light. It's right back there. You can see that. Yeah, it's right back there. So it's already lined up. The impact is right there. I'll try to point an arrow in the video. Just so you see, I needed a U-bolt to reach that. Okay? So, um, but everything here is tight. That one's tight. And where's the other one? That one's tight. Blade uh, pulley is already on. I'm going to be changing the pulleys out too. Kohler Pro 300 hour extended life synthetic engine oil. 
it's 10 w50 um that's what they recommend in the uh, owner's manual that's what i'm using i got it at tractor supply this is after about 14 fluid ounces um i didn't hook this up yet i gotta make a y on this and uh engine mount it and i'll make another video on that but basically you push that back that's a, that's a throttle this thing fires right up i mean look Just some final thoughts. I didn't use that metal bracket that was there before um, on the bottom where all the bolts, there was like two bolts that were connected with some metal bracket, some metal wire, a wiggly wire thing. I didn't use that because in the Turf Master video, they didn't use it. And the Turf Master deck and the Time Master deck is basically the same. So I was like, whatever, I don't need it. Um, I didn't use a torque wrench um, for anything. Uh, I know in the Turf Master video, they were saying something about torque it down to the correct torque spec i don't see any torque uh specs whatsoever so i didn't use anything like that um i didn't use uh thread locker um yeah i mean everything bolted up in the way that it should have uh, it's pretty straightforward stuff i know i didn't have the best angles but i hope that it's helpful and if toro was watching this video um i i mean i doubt it but let's say in the off chance that they are watching this video the Time Master should be coming with this engine from the get-go. Um, I'm sorry, but that Briggs and Strat Stratton engine is trash. It's just garbage, okay? That's it.